uppermost layer of the earth's surface in which plants grow is called soil soil is very important for plants and other living things too plants grow on soil and absorb nutrients from it many microorganisms and small animals also live in soil formation of soil the formation of soil is a gradual and continuous process it started when the earth was born and continues even today in the beginning the earth was covered by huge rocks due to the changes in the weather and temperature these rocks broke down into smaller ones they were then carried by flowing water and strong winds which further broke them into even small pieces until they became tiny particles of soil or sand what is soil soil is a mixture of fine particles of earth stones clay sand pebbles and humus humus consists of particles of decayed plant matter animal excreta as well as dead and decayed animal bodies it is very rich in nutrients and is very good for plant growth the roots of a tree go deep into the soil in search of water and nutrients if you observe a freshly dug section of the soil you will see the three layers of soil quite clearly top soil subsoil and rocky layer top soil the uppermost layer of soil is called top soil it is soft and holds water humus and small organisms such as earthworms snails insects etc roots of grasses and other small plants can be seen in topsoil subsoil the layer that lies under the top soil is called the subsoil it consists of larger grains and minerals and more pebbles the subsoil contains lesser humus and water and is also harder as compared to the top soil rocky layer the rocky layer lies under the subsoil as the name suggests it contains large pieces of rocks it does not contain any soil or humus 
and also holds very little water. Types of Soil Soils are of different types depending on where they are found as well as qualities such as color, texture and fertility. Thus, soil found in coastal areas is quite different from that found in mountainous regions. Sandy Soil Sandy soil is made up of sand with very little quantities of clay and humus. It is found along seashores and in coastal areas. The soil has a grainy texture and comprises yellow, grey or light brown sand particles. Sandy soil is unable to hold water since there is a lot of space between the soil particles. Hence, plants such as watermelon and coconut that grow in sandy soil require frequent watering. Other uses Pure sand is used in building and construction work as well as in the manufacture of glass. Clay Soil As the name suggests, clay soil is largely made up of clay. There is hardly any space for air between the particles of clay soil. As a result, plants growing in clay soil are unable to provide enough air for the roots. Plants such as paddy, jute and certain types of grasses need a lot of water and therefore grow well in clay soil. Other Uses Pure clay is used to make bricks, earthen pots, roof tiles, clay toys, statues, etc. Loamy Soil Loamy soil is a mixture of clay and sandy soil. It has sufficient air spaces between the particles and can hold both water and air. It also contains humus. Loamy soil is ideal soil for healthy plant growth. Soil is very important for growth of plant life. It provides valuable nutrients to the plant. The roots also draw water for the plant from the soil. Manure is added to soils that are not very fertile so that the plant receives adequate nutrients for its growth. Manure comprises dead and decomposed plant and animal matter, humus and is very rich in essential nutrients. Soil Home to living things 
plants grow in soil. Soil is also home to many small insects and animals. Slugs and snails eat bits and pieces of dead animals and plants present in the soil. Earthworms turn the soil, thereby letting in air into it. Additionally, their excreta also makes the soil fertile. Hence, they are called friends of the farmers. Other animals like ants, beetles, millipedes and centipedes also live in the soil. Small animals such as rabbits make their burrows in the soil. Thus, we studied about soil.